Hey y'all, I found a recipe for instant pot meatloaf on southernliving.com. Now, my mama is known for her meatloaf. I ate it all the time growing up, but she has never used an instant pot before, so I decided to flip the tables and see if she could make meatloaf in an instant pot. Let's see if she can do it. Okay, mama, on a scale of one to 10, for this Instant Pot meatloaf recipe, how confident are you? Oh, maybe a six. Maybe a six? Yeah. How scared are you to Ooh. use an Instant Pot? Maybe a 10. Well, we're gonna put you to the test. So, you're known for your meatloaf recipe, but we are not gonna use yours. Okay. We're going to follow the trusted Southern Living Test Kitchen meatloaf Instant Pot recipe, mostly because Instant Pots are a little bit finicky which is why I'm really excited to watch you do this. <laughs> um, and so this one is tested and we know that it works in the Instant Pot, so I don't wanna, I want to make sure I set you up for success. Okay, that sounds good. All right, okay, are you ready to get started? Let's do it. Okay. Okay, here's how this is gonna go down. I'm going to read the recipe off to you on your computer or on my computer and okay. then you're just gonna do it. All right. Can you do it? I think so. If you need a lifeline, I'll come in and I'll help you. Oh, that sounds good. I'm probably gonna have to call you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, first things first. Gently stir together beef, eggs, garlic, onion, panko. Can you do all that? Yeah. Mix it, gently stir, be careful not to over mix. So far, so good? Yep, I got this part. Okay, are you ready for the next step? I am. This is where it gets froggy. Okay. Um, so normally you put meatloaf in a loaf pan, but we're not doing that because we're putting it in the Instant Pot. Okay. So here's what you're gonna do. Form mixture into an eight by five and a half inch loaf. Can you do that? Yeah. That looks pretty good to me. It's like loaf shaped. Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna place the loaf into um, a large, Thing of aluminum foil. Okay, now fold up the sides of the foil to make a secure nest for the meatloaf. You want the sides to be high enough so that the moisture won't spill out. It stays open or I close the whole thing? You, you don't cover it, but you make like a, you're making like a loaf pan out of foil. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, you feel good about that? Yeah. No moisture's gonna seep out of the sides? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that. But I'll promise it, but it's kinda good. Okay, all right. I feel pretty good that you're gonna be able to get this next step. Stir together ketchup, Dijon, and vinegar. Yeah. Okay, now you're gonna spread that ketchup mixture onto your loaf. Before I put it in there? Before you put it in there. But before we do that, let's make sure that your loaf is gonna fit into your Instant Pot. That is not gonna fit in there. Okay, so maybe size up, maybe fix the size a little bit. Mm. Oh, I brought this tin foil, because I'm afraid it's gonna have a hole in it. It does have a hole in it. Can it I does? get a new piece of tin foil? <laughs> is that allowed? Yeah, you can get a new piece of tin foil. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Oh, yeah. Much better? You feel good about that? I feel much better about this. How do you feel about this? I want to eat it either way. <laughs> All right. You think it'll fit in there now? I think. Okay. So, now that that is where you want it to be, you're going to spread the ketchup mixture on top. Just, and see, I don't do this until it's cooked a little bit. Okay, now the next step says place the cooker rack in the cooker. Does this stand up or? Yeah, those are kind of like handles. Okay. Okay, so oh, you feel good about that? This is not gonna fit. <laughs> <laughs> this is not gonna fit. <laughs> okay, um, now place meatloaf in foil on rack. Oh my goodness. I should have read the directions before I started this. That isn't gonna make an ever-loving mess. Oh, I forgot something. I'm a terrible recipe reader. See if you can lift the whole thing, perfect. Now, you're gonna have to pour the water in the bottom first. 
I measured you some. Put water in here. Uh huh. A whole cup. Yes. And now you can put it back in. Okay. Well, I feel a little more confident since I've seen it out of the thing. So that was a good thing. All right. Okay. You feel good about that? Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm back in it because I feel like I'm going to have to help you with this part. Now, you're going to put the lid on the Instant Pot and then you're going to turn it on. But before I do that, there's a secret about Instant Pots. Okay. So we're going to move over to the stove and I'll explain why. Okay. I'll move your Instant Pot. You get the lid. All right. So I don't know how much you know about Instant Pots. Have you seen all over that they, the steam is ruining people's cabinets? I have it? seen that. Okay, well that's because this thing bent. So it's like a pressure cooker where it releases yeah. steam. And so this, if you put it underneath your hood vent or your microwave, you can like, whenever it's releasing, you can turn that fan on and it helps push it out. So Good idea. in the instant of you not wanting to do that, we're gonna do it over here. All right, now put the lid on the instant pot. Does it matter if this goes in the front or the back? Well, just see if you can look at it and see. This is part of your test. See if you can figure out how to use it. Look at the top of your Instant Pot and see if you can Oh. It. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, now turn the valve to sealing. Now you want to turn it on manual. Manual. Uh -huh, and make sure that it's on high pressure. So you have it. Yep. Okay. And now you want it for 25 minutes. So you're going to do this until you see 25. Okay. And then that's it. Yes. The thing about Instant Pots is 25 minutes. It's so scary because you didn't press start. You didn't press go. Yeah. And then you have to wait and it turns on. Oh. And so it says that it takes 25 minutes, but you have to wait for it to come up to pressure. So it's going to take about six to eight minutes until it comes up to pressure. And then it will start the 25 minute countdown. Okay. So we put the Instant Pot on. The uh -huh. meatloaf is in the Instant Pot. What are your thoughts so far? It, it's it's going to work. I know it'll work, but I just, I can't trust 25 minutes for a meatloaf. I know, but it's pressure cooked, so it yeah, might be Yeah, true. Okay, the timer just went off. <laughs> I'm scared. Um, you have to turn the steam valve to venting. And then it's gonna release on its own, but it's kind of scary. So I'm gonna let you do it. But first, before we do it, make sure you turn the microwave fan on so that we vent. Perfect. And now you need to get a long stick. Now, you're gonna need to turn that thing towards us carefully. Now, is this gonna be spewing on me? It spews up in the air. Gracious. Whoa. Now I can smell it. I hadn't smelled it until now. Woo. Glad I built up those sides because there's a lot of liquid. Instant pot meatloaf. Well, I'm excited about it. Well, thanks for letting me try it. We'll see how it tastes. Yep, we gotta do a taste test on camera though. Are you ready for that? Okay. <laughs> I'm watching this meatloaf and it's like oozing liquid out, which is kind of normal for most like cooked meat products. Um, so if this happens to you, apparently it's totally normal. So my mom chickened out doesn't feel confident enough to be able to get the meatloaf out of the cooker. I'm honestly a little bit nervous about it, but you know, I feel a little better about it than she does. So. Mm. It was easy. <laughs> you made that look so easy. So the only thing that I would do differently is that I would maybe put that under the broiler the broiler when it comes out of the Instant Pot. Oh, definitely, cause it makes all the ketchup get that sugary caramelization on it. Yeah, 
But I mean, like the meat's cooked and it looks juicy and good. Oh yeah, it's really juicy. <laughs> okay, so you're standing with your proud Instant Pot, your very first Instant Pot creation. Would you try the Instant Pot again with a different recipe? Oh, definitely. I really wanna do chicken and rice. Your last challenge is to transfer the meatloaf to a plate. Cheers. Mm. Oh. Cheers. <laughs> I'll wait for it. It's not bad. Mm. I mm. miss the green bell pepper. To me, that's what makes meatloaf. Yeah. I like the vinegar and the ketchup. I do too. I actually I do. I do want to get some caramelization on top though. Yeah, in the broiler would be good. We can make meatloaf sandwiches like you said. Oh yeah. Put it kind of like a patty melt. That'll be good. With extra ketchup. Extra. And mayonnaise. Oh yeah, and mayonnaise, of course, though. Dukes. Well, I think my mom did amazing Thanks. on her first ever Instant Pot creation. If you like this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up. My mom would like a thumbs up. For more cool Instant Pot recipes, be sure to subscribe to the Southern Living YouTube page. We will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.